Anti-human trafficking organization Polaris found an average of around 200 illicit massage parlors in both San Francisco and San Jose each. A task force with the city of San Francisco is actively combating the problem, but with a major hurdle. Many will not come forward because it's the only income they have and also for fear of being deported um, in, a, uh, in a way that criminalizes them. In the last three years, the report shows San Francisco shut down many of those parlors, bringing the number down from 400. They do this by using code enforcement inspections to check in on businesses that stand out. Polaris lists some of the warning signs as extremely low prices compared to the average in the area. Late night hours, clientele based mostly on men, covered windows, and an appearance that the employees are either living at the parlor or being brought in to work in groups. Traffickers also take to the internet using sites like WeChat and Kakao Talk to recruit victims. To um, reach them in their native language, offer them an, a, a job that um, that is very different than what they are experiencing. And so um, certainly there's some op an opportunity to maybe do some um, digital stinks. Although this is a billion dollar industry, Polaris reports law enforcement generally don't have enough resources to dedicate fully to the problem. But there is something they can do. Instead of criminalizing the victims, the study suggests that they provide a local contact within their own culture so that the victims are more likely to come forward and get help.